today. This one's a gaming event. Jim had the same slides, of course, he talked about the points for me already. But the whole idea of opening up uh, OpenGL ES to have 3D graphics rendering certainly is key to a great gaming experience. But we also believe that the other characteristics of the BlackBerry platform, things like peer-to-peer -peer communication and location aware, um, opens up possibilities, in, in, even in the gaming world, of new transformative experiences. It was interesting just uh, backstage talking to my next guest uh, before he came out here about some of the possibilities of things that they could do um, in their future games based on some of the capabilities of the platform. And so I think, uh, you know, to see that what this can do is probably more important that we bring out our, uh, our next guest, uh, who is Chris from EA. And who better to come out and talk about games? Chris, it's great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. And so uh, you've been uh, working with the new OpenGL ES on the BlackBerry platform. Yeah, just for the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been seeing what we can do with EVSpeed, and uh, in a few moments I'll show you that on, on a demo here. Um, so, mobile gaming, um, I want to tell you, I mean, industry is a really exciting place right now. Uh, there are more people downloading and playing games than we've ever seen before. The devices are getting so much more powerful and more suited to playing games, so it means that we're able to sort of build much more compelling experiences on mobile devices than we've ever done before. Um, and in ways, you know, like 3D rich graphics, um, more, in more intuitive ways to sort of interact with your game, control your game, using things like tilt and touch. Um, with enhanced audio, we can use the music and the effects to really kind of bring our games to life much more than we ever could. Um, and with all these uh, combination of uh, features in CPU speed, GPUs, more memory, on mobile devices, we're really able to make our feature sets a lot more compelling. Um, so we're, we're delighted at EA that the guys at RIM have now um, sort of continued to make the, uh, the BlackBerry's uh, sort of more uh, powerful towards gaming. Being able to use OpenGL is fantastic. Um, and so let's have a look at uh, Need for Speed, as I say, some early playable demo that we just created over the last couple of weeks. So <clears throat> Eric here is uh, just using touch to make all the player decisions in the game. So we're just sliding between the cars to choose from. Uh, we've got two in here right now, the Ford GT and the BMW. Which one are you feeling lucky with right now, Eric? Okay, so it's the Beamer. So let's go into the place. Okay, so immediately you can see we've got a beautiful 3D environment. Uh, we've never been able to do this kind of full 3D into the screen racing before on BlackBerry devices. Um, Obviously, for all the developers uh, in the audience, um, just some facts and figures. So, we're pushing about between 6,000 and 13,000 polygons in the environment, depending on where you are around the track and where the camera is. Um, the cars, the, the BMW has about 6,800 polys, and the Ford GT a little bit more, about 7,000 just over. Um, one of the big impressive things we found developing with this device is the large texture space. So, we've got 512 by 512 blocks of Texture space for the environment, separately for the sky down, and also for the vehicles. So we've been able to bring high-end assets into the game as well as use our uh, Java, existing Java code base um, to make this look as good as everything it does. It's running on average around about 14 frames per second. As I say, just a couple of weeks in, and uh, you know we expect more optimization so we can do more. But already you can see it's really good to play. The accelerometer controls giving us enough. Fidelity to be able to drive the car beautifully around the track and you really feel like you're in touch with the vehicle. Um, and more touch controls in game so you can just tap the screen to brake uh, and hold your finger long to brake longer and just swipe like that to give yourself a turbo boost. So we're pretty pleased, pretty excited uh, working on this and um, it's great as a, personally as a, as a gamer and a, uh, an intense BlackBerry user to be able to sort of excite in games like this. In the Thanks very much, Harry. Appreciate it. That was very impressive. We've come a long way since Brick Breaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really to the experts. The, uh, we really appreciate it. And Eric's obviously had more time to practice than I have because I keep crashing when I try it. But the, the game is amazing. And uh, how about those graphics? Where are those amazing? Yeah.
so you mentioned that this was only a couple weeks work to get this up and running? Yeah, I mean, yeah, between two and three works max, and uh, you know, some of the things about the development environment, it's a great development environment. Um, I have to say the APIs for the touch and the software were sort of super easy to work with, did all the things we needed, so we got those in place in just a few days. Um, debugging information is strong, uh, and, and the, the actual emulator itself is really true to how the device behaves, so that was, uh, that was great. So, uh, so far, so good. Okay, great. Looking forward to seeing a lot more from EA. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.